Hello, so today is going to be a little DIY project because well it's still in the case of uh, irrelevant unboxings because we have here a new package which just came to us and we have here rechargeable batteries or my white balance is not that good as you can see it's 2.8 amp hours 1.2 volt CD batteries and the reason is why I ordered them I have this little cordless power drill Bosch PSR 960 this is a little shitty drill but it's still handy to have a spare one on my hands and the problem is that it came only with one battery and I don't know what happened but it just dies almost instantly in regardless if you are using it or not using it if you fully charge this in a couple hours the battery is going to drain itself and right now I had it maybe an hour ago charge yeah it's dead so what to do so I thought maybe I will buy another battery but then uh, I looked at the prices there and this doesn't it's not worth to buy another battery for this shitty drill because I bought it for like I don't know maybe 30 bucks with uh, additional attachments and whatever from the store so just to pay another 30 bucks for another battery just stupid so I bought these so the theory behind this is that I will replace them and everything is going to be blended so let's start with taking this apart okay let's grab another thing if you are want to buy good ratchets and tools Proxon Industrial very cool good quality tools they are quite expensive but if you want tools for all your life this is the way to go as you can see there's basic idea only one two three four screws so let's take them out So, basically this assembly is done, now you just have to pull it apart. Good rule of thumb, put everything in separate sides when you are disassembling it. And also this battery originally was 1.25 amp hours, so theoretically I should have twice of a capacity when I'm finished. Well, if everything works perfectly. So, we have those little clips here. Take them apart. And then battery just slides off. So, it would look simple. Take these, replace these, and everything is blended. But, theoretically, Everything is going to be okay, but it fits. Well, of course you have to switch the polarity to get 9.6 volts, you need 8 batteries, but whatever. Well, the problem with this one is when I ordered my batteries, I really didn't pay attention to the size of them. Yeah, it's stupid, I know, but... So, they are the same diameter, but the height on the on our hand they are a lot taller so this is going to be a problem and uh, because when it sits here for this one it's not a problem because I just can remove plastic ring and Bob's your uncle but uh, problem with those ones because this 
enclosure it's not going to close fully when the batteries are installed so what I'm thinking I'm going to do cut around this hole then put all the assembly inside pop it in see that the quick release mechanism is working and then attach the bottom part with zip ties glue or whatever I don't know let's cut it here we go so took me around five to ten minutes to do this the hard way the cut is not the cleanest but I might add as well it could be a lot worse so next step disassemble these and put the new ones in place so first of all if your battery still has charge yeah funny thing is it shows almost 11 volts but when you give it uh, at least a little bit of uh, load on it it just stops completely so those uh, batteries are no good anymore sure you can try to revive it I don't know how much good of that is going to give you but <sighs> anyway so I guess it would be good to save this part just to have clear guide where everything should go as you can see the idea here is quite simple we have eight batteries connected in series to get nine 6 volts yep here's my knife why not use my Todd Bodega clone or GTC F55 fake GTC knife fake Bodega design this knife is fake everywhere you can, can it be but still good knife for 15 bucks and also seller uh, gave half of the money back for me because stated that this is carbon fiber well it's pretty obvious that you're not going to get knife with carbon fiber for 15 bucks but it was said in the ad on eBay 15 bucks I wrote to the guy it's not for carbon fiber so he offered me 50% back so that's win in my book okay If you are not sure how to do this properly, I guess the best thing would be just take and copy existing design. Okay, so all eight are done, then it's pretty simple, you connect them. So. You can follow basically like a diagram which connection goes where and then do the soldering. This goes here. Fuck me. Another good tip. They are charged. So if you connect them together they're going to uh, shorten out okay so I decided to switch up tactics solder them in pairs I did the top top side obviously it's not finished because I will need to put another one here which goes up but basically it is done not the cleanest or or prettiest jobs but that'll do the job okay what's now left to do the bottom okay.
Yay! We have 8.7 volts. It's just still. So we have our basic shape done. What's left next is try to put it everything in places and this is going to be the most challenging part I guess but Okay. So right now we have this part. Let me screw the top part so it would not come apart and come back. So the screws did not really pan out this too much of the existing bolt inside of the uh, place here but what I decided to do use plainly zip ties make bigger holes right here you can make it pretty clean it up a little bit but what else? I don't know, at this point you're basically done. I would suggest fill up this space just to be really sure. Test it out. Yeah, baby. This is how you fix your battery. Granted, having a right size Batteries would help a lot because I would not need it to cut this part off, but If you do it yourself and you're not afraid to break it because basically this is what we have we done we broke the existing battery and make made some kind of Frankenstein type of a deal with it, but now supposedly uh, Wait a minute 2800 milliamp hours 2.8 amp hours and this was 1.25 amp hours so theoretically the new installed battery should be should have twice the capacity of the original ones had well I will test this kind of Frankenstein of a deal and I will give your my to you my best honest opinions does it work or not charges everything is put back into their places it has all the necessary parts and components the safety overheating safety uh, sensor is still in place so yeah successful build so thanks for watching and I'm planning to do those kinds of videos in the future so we are, if you are interested you can like share or subscribe or whatever I don't really care I do this because um, lots of times of internet I'm buying cheap stuff and I like to see whatever people thought about it is really worth it so this is my main goal for the videos just to show for one or two lucky bastards which are going to buy some cheap shit as I am that should they do that or not so all in all, Phil, thank you for watching and bye.